Antonov and 225 Maria, the Antonov and 225 Maria, its name means dream in Ukrainian, and for good reason. Born in the Cold War era to carry the Soviet Buran space shuttle, the Maria remains the heaviest aircraft ever built. With six engines and a wingspan longer than a football field, it was a marvel of brute strength and elegance. It could haul over 250 tons of cargo, including items so large they had to be mounted on top of the fuselage. Tragically destroyed in the early days of the 2022 war in Ukraine, the Maria may be gone, but her legacy endures. She wasn't just a plane, she was a global symbol of what aviation could achieve. Strata Launch 351 from the ashes of space shuttle retirement emerged Strata Launch's Rock, the largest wingspan of any aircraft ever to fly. At 385 feet, it's wider than a football field is long. Designed to carry rockets into the upper atmosphere for air launch to orbit missions, Rock embodies the future of space access. Twin fuselages and 6747 engines give it a surreal, otherworldly appearance. It doesn't carry passengers or cargo like traditional aircraft. Instead, it carries possibility, a platform designed to launch the next era of spaceflight directly from the skies. Airbus Beluga XL Imagine an aircraft that looks like a whale with wings. That's the Airbus Beluga XL. Built to carry oversized aircraft parts between Airbus manufacturing sites across Europe, the Beluga XL is a successor to the original Beluga, but with even more cargo space. Its cavernous fuselage can accommodate entire sections of planes. With a cockpit lowered beneath the cargo bay, the aircraft can be loaded from the front like a giant airborne barn. It may not break speed records, but it breaks logistical ones, playing a critical role in one of the world's most complex manufacturing networks. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy A staple of American military might, the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is one of the largest military aircraft in the world. Since its introduction in the 1970s, it has delivered everything from tanks and helicopters to disaster relief supplies and even other aircraft. With its unique nose-loading and rear-loading design, the C-5 can be loaded from both ends simultaneously, a logistical dream. Its vast cargo bay can accommodate virtually anything the U.S. military might need to move across the globe. Quietly dependable, the C-5 is a workhorse of unprecedented scale. Airbus A380 The Airbus A380 is a palace in the sky. As the largest passenger aircraft ever built, it can carry over 850 passengers in an all-economy configuration. But what truly makes the A380 remarkable is its engineering, from its four massive engines to its double-deck layout. Flying in an A380 isn't just about getting from one place to another, it's about experiencing air travel as it was meant to be. Spacious, smooth, and almost surreal. Though its future is uncertain in a world favoring smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft, the A380 remains an icon of luxury and scale. Aerospace Lines Super Guppy Before the Beluga, there was the Guppy. The Super Guppy, to be exact. Built in the 1960s to transport oversized space and aerospace components, this bulbous aircraft looks like something out of a cartoon. Yet it performed an essential role in space history, carrying components of the Apollo missions and more. With a hinged nose that opens wide, the Super Guppy could swallow up payloads no other aircraft could accommodate at the time. Today, one is still operated by NASA, a flying relic still getting the job done. Boeing B-52 Stratofortress some aircraft are built for longevity, but few achieve the immortality of the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. First flown in 1952 and still in service today, the B-52 is a symbol of enduring power and adaptability. 
With eight engines mounted in pairs and a payload that rivals modern aircraft, it was a cornerstone of Cold War deterrence and remains a vital part of U.S. strategic forces. What's astonishing is not just its size or payload, but its resilience, a bomber so effective it has outlived generations of pilots, planners, and presidents. Antonov and 124 Ruslan. If the N-225 was the king, the N-124 is the warhorse. Designed for both military and commercial use, this Ukrainian giant is capable of hauling massive cargo loads to the most remote places on Earth. Unlike the Maria, the An-124 was built in greater numbers and is still operational today. Its rear cargo ramp, onboard cranes, and robust landing gear make it ideal for rough, undeveloped airstrips. Whether it's humanitarian relief after a disaster or transporting oil equipment to the Arctic, the N-124 delivers, reliably and majestically. Boeing Dreamlifter A Frankenstein creation of aviation necessity, the Boeing 747 Dreamlifter is what happens when you take a legendary jetliner and transform it into a flying warehouse. Designed to transport major components of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, the Dreamlifter features one of the largest cargo holds in the world. Its swingtail design allows for massive loads to be inserted directly into its fuselage. It may not win beauty contests, but when it comes to logistical flexibility, the Dreamlifter is an unsung hero of global manufacturing. The Caspian Sea Monster not an airplane in the traditional sense, and not a ship either. The Caspian Sea Monster, or Lund-class Ekranoplan, is a marvel of Soviet ingenuity. It flew just a few feet above the water using ground effect, allowing it to carry enormous payloads at high speeds while remaining undetected by radar. Originally intended for military use, including missile launch capability, the Ekranoplan looked like it came from a sci-fi novel, only one was ever completed and tested, but its legacy lives on as perhaps the most bizarre and fascinating aircraft ever to fly. 295MS. You can hear it before you see it. The Tupolev 295MS, known by NATO as Bear, remains one of the most iconic and eerie sounds in the sky. First flown in the 1950s, this strategic bomber is still in active service today. Its four Kuznetsov turboprop engines drive massive contra-rotating propellers, giving it an unmistakable buzzsaw-like whine. Despite its vintage looks, the 295MS remains a potent long-range cruise missile platform. It's fast for a turboprop and astonishingly efficient, with intercontinental range and enough payload to rival jet-powered contemporaries. A Cold War relic? Perhaps. But one that still haunts modern skies. And 22, before the N-124 and N-225, there was the N-22, the world's largest turboprop aircraft. Known as Anti, this Soviet behemoth introduced in the 1960s was a trailblazer in heavy lift cargo. Its contra-rotating propellers provide immense thrust, and its enormous undercarriage was designed to land on unprepared runways. Capable of transporting tanks, humanitarian aid, or paratroopers, the An-22 brought unprecedented mobility to the Soviet military. Even decades later, its design remains impressive, and a few still fly today, a testament to its rugged, enduring engineering. Mil Mi 26. The Mil Mi 26 is not just the largest helicopter ever built, it's the strongest. Capable of lifting over 20 tons, it can carry tanks, downed aircraft, or even entire buildings. This Russian giant features an eight blade main rotor and a spacious cargo hold, making it indispensable for military and disaster relief operations. Whether it's delivering aid in earthquakes or hauling derailed trains, the Mi-26 is a flying crane with no rival. In the realm of rotary wing giants, the Mi-26 is the undisputed king. Ladikoer 631 
a graceful giant of a bygone era. The Latakoair 631 was one of the largest seaplanes ever built, a French dream born in the 1930s and realized during the 1940s. With six engines and an enormous wingspan, it was designed for transatlantic passenger and mail service. Though production was limited and its operational life brief, the 631 stands as a symbol of what early aviation aspired to be. Elegant, ambitious, and international in vision. It was a maritime leviathan that danced with the waves and reached for the clouds. CH-47 Chinook few helicopters are as instantly recognizable as the CH-47 Chinook. Its tandem rotor configuration gives it a unique profile and unparalleled lifting ability. In service since the 1960s and still going strong, the Chinook is the backbone of U.S. Army heavy lift operations. It's fast, agile for its size, and can carry troops, vehicles, and artillery deep into contested zones. Whether flying through combat zones in Afghanistan or delivering aid in natural disasters, the Chinook proves that sometimes two rotors are better than one. Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion Meet the heavyweight champion of U.S. military helicopters, the CH-53E Super Stallion. This three-engine, seven-blade beast can lift over 16 tons and is designed to perform in the most extreme environments. From amphibious landings to mountain warfare, the Super Stallion has been the Marine Corps' aerial mule, hauling everything from armored vehicles to entire platoons. Its follow-on variant, the CH-53K King Stallion, may be the future, but the E-model is a battle-hardened legend of the skies. Sikorsky Ilya Muromets Before the jumbo jets, before the bombers, there was the Ilya Muromets. Named after a legendary Slavic folk hero, this early Russian biplane was the world's first four-engine aircraft and the first bomber designed with strategic missions in mind. First flown in 1913, it was a marvel for its time, featuring an enclosed cockpit, a passenger cabin, even a bathroom. It served in World War I and laid the blueprint for all strategic bombers that would follow. In every modern heavy aircraft, there's a little Muromet's DNA. Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. It's a plane, it's a helicopter. It's the V-22 Osprey, a tilt-rotor aircraft that bridges the gap between vertical lift and high-speed flight. Developed over decades of trials and tragedy, the Osprey now serves with the U.S. military, offering unmatched flexibility. It can take off and land like a helicopter, then transition mid-flight to airplane mode, reaching speeds and ranges helicopters can only dream of. From rapid troop deployment to special forces missions, the V-22 redefines what's possible in combat aviation. Boeing 747. And how could we leave out the Queen herself? The Boeing 747. A revolution in air travel, the 747 was the first true wide-body jumbo jet, shrinking the world and democratizing long-distance flight. With its iconic humpbacked silhouette, it became a symbol of a golden age of air travel. More than just a passenger plane, the 747 served as a freighter, Air Force One, and even as a space shuttle carrier. Its recent retirement from many fleets marks the end of an era, but the Queen's reign is eternal in the annals of aviation history.